another video. If you're new here, my name is Suzanne. I am a stay-at-home mom to three girls. I have a 17-year-old, a almost four-year-old, three-and-a-half-year-old, and a 10-month-old. So lots of girls. I like to make cleaning, lifestyle, motherhood, decorating videos, anything along those lines and I try to post at least once a week, sometimes a little bit more. If anything like that interests you, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Today, I thought it would be fun to do a what's in my bag video. I love watching these videos. I've been watching YouTube for a while, and I remember when these types of videos were really, really popular, and I mean, they probably still are. I feel like I don't see them as often, um, but I love watching them. I also love watching like house hunters and shows like that. I just think it's really fun to be nosy and see how other people live, what their house looks like, and I love seeing what's in their bag or their diaper bag, whatever they carry with them. I just think it's really, really interesting. So I thought I would make one because I think they're so much fun. For my bag, I have the Louis Vuitton Never Full MM, the monogram print, um, and then this is the inside. I do have um, an organizer. I love it because it keeps my purse clean. I'm tough on purses. I've had a lot of purses throughout the years and they just always don't end up looking great because I never used to really take care of them and also it's just hard to keep a purse looking good. This is kind of a mom purse too. I do carry a separate diaper bag and I do have a what's in my diaper bag video so I can link that if you're interested. Um, so this isn't so much kid stuff, this is just mostly mom stuff and I carry this along with my diaper bag. Sometimes if I don't need to bring this whole thing, I'll just throw my wallet in the diaper bag but usually this comes with me too. I love it because it's very big has lots of room. The MM size is the medium size. I'm new to Louis Vuitton. This is my first one I've ever owned. And I'm gonna go ahead and preface this by saying that this was not purchased in the store. This is actually a um, Poshmark purchase. And it was a Christmas slash birthday gift from my husband. I told him I wanted one. I could have found one in the store. I just didn't feel with our budget and our family dynamic as it is right now, I didn't want to spend that much on a purse uh, just to get it brand new. So I scouted Poshmark for a few months to try to find one that would be budget friendly and still just really nice because, you know, when you're buying something that's pre-owned, you always kind of take a chance. So I was a little nervous to purchase on Poshmark. I won't go into a whole lot of detail about the actual purchasing purchasing experience. If you have any questions specifically to buying off of Poshmark, you can leave them down below and I will be happy to answer them. I had a positive experience and I got very lucky because I found this bag and it was significantly cheaper than a new uh, Louis Vuitton bag, which was awesome, um, but it was in such great shape I couldn't believe it. So I was really excited to find one that was almost new looking, but I wasn't paying the brand new. So this is what I got. Again, it's in really good condition. It had, if it is anywhere in tear now, it's probably because I put it there. I got it back in March, I wanna say. So I've had it for a little while now and I've been trying really hard to take good care of it. Uh, it's hard when you have kids and just everyday life. This is my everyday purse. I don't switch them out. I just keep this one all the time. I have had other bags in the past that were a little bit on the more expensive side. I love coach bags and stuff, but I always shopped at the outlet. So, but this is my first really nice designer bag. Um, and I've had some Kate Spade bags too, which I love as well. Uh, but this was definitely an investment. What I thought I would do is just take everything out a little bit at a time. This is the organizer and I just got it to match the purse. So this is what this looks like it's hot pink because I really liked I don't even know the color now this has a name <laughs> the um, pink color they have different um, names for the colors inside and I really liked this one and now it's escaping me for some reason um, but this is what the inside of the bag looked like I don't know how well it'll show up it's like brand new looking I'm shocked and it is pre owned pre-love so i thought i got a really good deal for not paying the full price and it looking as nice as it does 
Uh, it does have this pocket on the inside and that has a zipper as well. I don't keep anything in here. It's just empty. Anyways, that's what the inside looks like. So uh, I do try to keep it as nice as possible, but this is a purse that I use all the time and you know, you just do what you can. Uh, but I don't intend on ever selling it or anything. Um, you know, it is what it is, but I'm trying really, really hard. So this is the actual purse itself and it kind of is like a tote and it comes with these straps on the side and you can use it and have it kind of like as a drawstring and I don't ever do that I just leave it as it is it does have a clip on the top so you can clip it together if you would like the extra security of having it attached here is my organizer I just ordered it off of Amazon and I really really like it it has a lot of compartments that you can put stuff in, which is always a plus. What's the brand? I'm not sure, I'd have to go back and look it up. But anyways, this is the size. It just was a medium size. I read the reviews to make sure it would fit uh, with that size, but just it's inside of it. I definitely recommend having an organizer if uh, you're like me and you just tend to randomly throw stuff in there. It's really helpful to have something to put everything in, especially if you have pens or you know makeup. This just helps to protect it. And like I said, I've had this bag for several months now and it still looks really nice, knock on wood. So we'll just get right into it. This is the outer pocket. This is the brand Spartina and it's just like a clutch. It has a wristlet on it, <laughs> but it's mermaid. I love mermaids. So this is a gift as well. And in here, let me see. I have a little notebook that says Mermaid Wishes and it's also Spartina. That with comes with a little pen. You can use that to jot down some notes really quick. Uh, I have some shout wipes, which I actually have a separate place these can go. So I'm kind of glad I'm going through my purse. I haven't gone through it before this video. This is just what's in it all the time. A mask and some change. <laughs> so that is everything and some trash. So that's everything that's in this bag. It's just kind of a little catch-all, but I like it just as a separate pocket if I need anything. So I will put these things back in here. This is a Burt's Bees pumpkin spice lip gloss that I was given recently that has not made its way out of the package yet. But this is so good if you've never used it. Burt's Bees has really good lip glosses anyways. And the pumpkin spice, obviously, because it's fall. I don't love everything pumpkin spice, but I do love a lot of things pumpkin spice. And this is one of them. It just has a really kind of cinnamony fall flavor. And then in this pocket, I have two pockets right here. So in this one, this is from the brand Scout. And it's just a little, like wallet or card holder. It has a key ring on it, which is nice because you can clip it if you wanted to. I just keep it tucked in the pocket. It has a clear um, window too, if you want to put your ID in there, but I don't keep my ID in here. So this is just receipts, cards, little royal ro loyalty cards, anything like that. Gift cards, Starbucks gift card, Jersey Mike's, Ikea family card. So I just keep these things in here so they don't clutter up my wallet because they're not things that I tend to use very often, but I do like to have them on me. I have some Thieves hand sanitizer spray. This is really nice. I don't, I don't have a lot of Young Living products, um, but this was given to me from somebody who sells Young Living products. It smells so good, especially around the holidays. I have wetlands and antibacterial wipes. This one's almost empty. I can probably just get rid of it, but definitely recommend these if you have little ones or just because of the craziness that is going on in the world these days. Wet ones are very, very handy to have. You can wipe down chairs, high chairs, tabletops, anything along those lines. So I try to always have some in my purse if I can. More change, this is great. I'm going through my change. <laughs> I have a hair tie for my toddler. Here is some gum. This is one of my favorite uh, gum brands, we call it flavors. <laughs> so this is 
the five gum and it's the spearmint rain i like this one because it's a big plastic container i have <laughs> i have a sticker from taco lu which is a mexican restaurant here in town i can probably take that out more masks just has a bunch of trash in it so that can get cleaned up. <laughs> this is another reason why I like having a insert because this would just be floating around in my bag. So at least with the insert, it's confined to one area so I can get rid of it pretty quickly. I have two pairs of sunglasses. I don't usually have expensive sunglasses. I am really hard on sunglasses. I lose them or they break really easily or get scratched up. So I tend not to spend a lot of money on sunglasses. I have both of these pairs. I'm not even sure the brand. I think I got them both. I think this one was a gift and I don't see, what is it Rayan? I'm not sure, but these are tortoise shell and these have kind of a brown just basic and i don't see the brand on these either i think i got these at like target or something two pairs of sunglasses because we do live in florida and it is pretty seven here i have a pen this is the bic atlantis pen i'm not super particular on pens just whatever works at that moment and more trash so far that's it for these pouches right here. When you buy the Louis Vuitton uh, MM, they come with a wristlet and it usually matches the bag. This is my favorite Louis Vuitton print and I think it's called the Azure, Azure. I just love it. I have friends who've owned the purses and I just think it's so cute and I love the kind of just summery nautical look that it has. This didn't come with a wristlet. The, my Louis Vuitton that I bought didn't come with a wristlet and it was even cheaper because of it because usually you want to buy one that has the wristlet with it uh, just because it comes with it. Because I saved money on that, I found this on Poshmark as well and it was in such good shape and I was kind of excited because I like to take it out. You can use it for different things. I like to take it and inside of it I usually keep my wallet and my phone and I use it as a wristlet so I don't have to bring my purse. Like if you're going to a restaurant or something and I don't wanna bring my big purse, I just have everything ready to go in this and then I just zip it up and take this with me into the store. When it's not being used as a wristlet, I keep it in the middle part of my organizer. And like I said, it just has my wallet. This was a gift. This is a Louis Vuitton just wallet. And here I keep I got all my cards and stuff like that. I'm not gonna show, it's mostly just credit cards and stuff, but I keep those in here. And I also keep um, change and stuff in here. But I keep this in here. And then this is the inside of the wristlet. So I do have some change. I try not to keep too much floating around in here so it's not too heavy. But this is the Rose Ballerine. I do remember that name and that's what this light pink color is and it's just so pretty and I love it so I got such a great deal on this and I was so excited because I was a little bummed out that the one that I purchased my Neverfull didn't have a wristlet but I was happy because the price was cheaper but then when I found this on Poshmark as well and it was even cheaper I got super excited so I actually ended up having what I wanted anyways and now I have it in the print that I really loved. I was nervous to get the big one in this print. I, they did have some for sale but I just am scared with the dirt and it was just I was afraid it would get really really dirty so I would rather have it in the wristlet because then it stays protected most of the time but I still get to have it if I really really wanted to carry it and yeah it just worked out perfectly so that's what this looks like. And it's so nice because like I said, you can just carry this separately. I know a lot of girls put receipts and stuff in here, whatever you wanna do with it. Uh, but usually if you buy the Neverfull brand new, it does come with a matching wristlet. And I just stick it right in the middle there. And that's where it stays until I end up needing it. Um, what else is in here? I have prescriptions. These are for my contact lenses. <laughs> so I wear contacts, so I have that. All right, moving right along into my next big pouch. This is a SD card that I need to return, but it's probably too late now. It's the wrong size. And it's just a little 
Google review slip that I needed to fill out. More masks, <laughs> because you can never have too many of those. I have a scrunchie. Another mask, this is a little one for my toddler because we had to take her to, we don't leave the house very often. We had to go to the doctor for her, so they gave me a special mask for her. I have this little pouch. I used to be a member of Ipsy, if you've never heard of it. They do, it's like a monthly subscription and they just have these little pouches each month with makeup in it. I ended up canceling my subscription because they kept sending me a lot of the same stuff over and over, even though I would fill out the questionnaire and request different things, it never seemed to go through. I had so many of these. If you're an Ipsy subscriber, maybe you're in the same boat. I ended up giving a lot of them away or taking them to the Goodwill, but I loved this one. I just thought it was so cute. It has a little lemon print on it, and I thought the little zipper was really cute, so I did keep this one. I kept a couple others too, but they were starting to stack up so quickly. I had to had to do something about it. I was gonna have overflowing Ipsy bags. So this is just kind of my little stuff that you might need bag. I have another scrunchie. I have some Q-tips in a bag. Uh, some girly things that you might need for that particular time. I have a St. Bart's uh, Tommy Bahama roll-on perfume. This smells so good. I have the big one of it too. This is just a little roller ball. It smells so, so good. So I have that. I've got uh, nail files in here, which I never really ever file my nails when I'm out, but they're in here. I have some eye drops. These are the Rotho, uh, Rotho Ice. It's like a breath mint for your eye. These are intense. <laughs> I have a hair tie and I have oh, another hair tie and then I usually keep two contact lenses in here. I wear the two week disposables uh, but I ended up using one not too long ago so I just have one but I like to have a spare in here because if I'm driving and I'm out nothing is worse than losing a contact or having like that sand feeling if something gets in your eye so I always like to carry spares just in case, that way I know I'm covered. That is it for this pouch. I have a hairbrush, with some hair in it, lovely. I love this, it's like a teasing brush with the bristles. So I use this a lot if my hair needs kind of fluffing up at the ends, on days that I don't have it in my mom bun, which isn't very often. But I am gonna get my hair cut soon, so maybe you will see it when it's not in a mom bun a little bit more often. But for now, this is just what I use if I need to touch up my hair. I put it, put it in my bag just in case I might need it. I have, this is a makeup pouch. And again, it's from Spartina. Just says, hello, gorgeous on it. It's really cute. It has this really pretty fox on it, uh, on the zipper. This lives in my purse as well. And this is another place where I just keep some makeup. Oh, look, I have my other contact. I need to put those together. That's not supposed to be in here. Um, this is just where I keep makeup when I'm going out. So uh, it's mostly lipstick. I don't really take my makeup with me out because I'm not out that long. Um, that I have to do touch-ups or anything. I do have a NYX suede lip liner. This is in the color Brunch Me. So it's just, you probably can't see it. It's just kind of like a mauve, your lips but better lip liner. So I have that in here. I have some Eucerin um, hand cream. These are just little sample sizes. So I keep those in here. I have a whole bunch of bobby pins, which I need some of these out of here actually for my room. So I will take some of those out. More trash. This is a MAC lipstick. It's the Cream Sheen lipsticks. I love these. And this is in the color, what is it? Cream Cup. I should know it by now. I buy it all the time. It's running low, but it's just this really pretty kind of um, pinky color. I think I used it in my mommy makeup video. I can link it down below. That way you know what it is, but it's MAC. They have really great makeup if you've never used their makeup, but it's pricey. So I try to make it last. A couple more lip glosses. I have this Palmer's Coconut, or Coco, 
coconut oil formula. This is really nice. It feels really good. And then I have some Carmex. My little Burt's Bees can head in here with these. And that's it. Oh, and a few more bobby pins. That's everything. And then I have this bow, which is for my daughter. So that can probably go back in the diaper bag. Let's see what else. I have a chip clip for some reason. I'm not sure why that would be in here. Um, oh, I have some Listerine strips. Are they in here or is it empty? Oh, there's some in here that can go in my everything pouch. I have another hair tie. And then, oh, I have a whole bunch of change. I'm gonna take that out. <laughs> Okay, we're getting close to the end. So what do we have left? Actually, these two are empty, right? Oh, what is this? This is a parking pass. We just recently went to Destin not long ago. So I have the parking pass when we went to the boardwalk. And then this is Ahava Dead Sea Water Hand Cream. This smells so good. I have to have hand cream especially in the winter time, my uh, knuckles get so cracked and it's just so painful. And you wouldn't think so living in Florida, but I always have to have a hand cream with me. That way, if I'm out and I need anything, I've got one. And I think that's it, more trash. And it looks like a little bit more change. And what's this in this pocket? Oh, a receipt from a UPS Thing that I have mailed off that I was supposed to save the receipt just in case. <laughs> that can stay in there. And that's that. So again, I try not to take too much with me. I do love this insert. I just think it helps so much to keep everything organized and I find that it reduces a lot of my clutter too. And then I also just love having pouches like these to add extra organization. So if I know I'm looking for something specific, I know I'll either keep it in my lipstick pouch or my little emergency slash necessities pouch, whatever you wanna call it. So it just really, really helps me to find things easier inside, especially if you have a big tote bag. It's just really nice to have something that's going to keep you organized. I'm gonna go ahead and load everything back up in here and get it all tidied up. And that is going to do it. So that's everything back in there. And here it is back in the bag. You can see the organizer definitely gives it a shape. If you don't care for that, if you like it just to look a little bit more baggy, then you probably don't wanna have an organizer in there. But like I said, it just, it makes it so much easier to find everything. And I just love how it looks with everything tucked nicely in there. And again, I just think it keeps it way cleaner than I ever could by myself. I don't have a good track record with that. If you were trying to use this as a diaper bag, I don't know. I mean, I have two little ones right now. Maybe if they were a bit bigger, this would work perfectly as just kind of a everything bag. But I still prefer to carry my diaper bag because I have a baby and a toddler. It's just way too much stuff that they need. Um, so I'm not gonna downsize just yet. But just for a mom bag, I love this. And sometimes I put their stuff in here if I need to throw it in really quickly, pacifiers or anything like that. But I usually try to keep this just nice stuff so it stays nicer and cleaner and uh, just then I know all their stuff is going to be in the diaper bag. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you keep anything fun in your purse or if you keep similar things in your purse as me because I just think it's interesting to hear what other people keep. I do have some more videos coming out this week. We're doing a birthday party for my husband this weekend. So I have a deep cleaning video coming out and just some more fall themed videos too because tomorrow is the first official day of fall. So I'm so excited about that, even though it's still 80 and 90 degrees here in Florida, but we'll take what we can get. Stay tuned for those videos coming soon. Again, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. That way you will know whenever I have videos coming out. I try to post at least once a week, sometimes more if I'm able to, but I would love to have you join my YouTube family. And thank you so much for all of your support. It means the world to me. You can follow me on Instagram too, or Facebook. I will link those pages down below as well. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.